Okay, into part three of Susan McLeod, um, which incorporates the, the Darido movement. Okay, so the Darido, if you say the word Darido, we have three syllables contained within that word. Darido, one, two, three, Darado. Okay, so we want to hear all the different grace notes involved in this movement. Okay, in order to play a crisp, clean Darido, our finger movement our fingers in the bottom hand in particular need to be nice and relaxed in order to get nice clean grace notes so the grace note sequence of a darado would start on low g a d grace note on low g a c grace note on low g and then up to b darado um darado and darado and darado okay and da do, and da do. Making sure that the two fingers come up at the exact same time. But we'll delve into this uh, approach to the da dos within this part when we come across them. So at the start of uh, part three, we have um, a sequence of G grace note burrows and double and tackle movements. And three and shadaram shadaram barakam barakam shadaram. And three, and we will really want to stretch out that E Dublin, but still let me hear this low A before the G grace note burrow. And three, and shudderum, and shudderum, and chiri, and shudderum, shudderum, barricum, barricum, shudderum, bahi, bahi. Now, we don't want, because it's quite technically demanding on the finger work, to slow this part down, but we also don't want to fall over our finger work and increase the tempo. Make sure every single embellishment is in its position, particularly those that are on the beat. And three, and shudderum, shudderum, barricum, barricum, shudderum, bahi, bahi. Okay, so nice rhythmical finger work. And a nice strong e uh, strike up to high. Okay. Which leads us nicely on to the third bar. Antiri Uhodro. Now, we want a nice G grace note followed by a, a nice ripple effect grip. Okay, so a lot of pipers are worrying about the Darado coming up that they forget to really um, plant that nice rhythmical G grace note uh, grip in position. Antiri Uhodro. And three or shudro again use that short B to set you up with the G grace note grip. And three or hodro and three or hodro followed by your darado. Again, nice relaxed fingers. And three or hodro darado followed by a throw and deep bang on the beat. So wait on that and then make sure you plant it not ahead of the beat, but right on the beat. And three, oh shudro, da da do, bra. And three, oh shudro, da da do, bra. We fall down nicely onto C, and again it's short, but it still has to be audible to set you up for the next throw in D. Eh, the next da da do, sorry. And three, oh shudro, da da do, bra. A da da do, I oh da da do. So you want to, you're going to want to practice that a couple of times. Ah, oh da da do, ay, oh da da do. Okay, so don't jump onto the da da do movement. Let me hear that short C. So again, long on the throw on D, short on the C, but still audible to set you up with the, the da da do to B. And then again, a throw on D on the second beat, a short E, and then an F double on the beat. A G grace note on the F, and then up to high A. So, the third and fourth bars together. Again, make sure you wait on that simple G grace note. Some pipers will think that they've got to the end of that uh, hard grip, da da do, throw on D passage, and then jump onto that G grace note on the F because they think that's a wee bit more simple. But we still need to have the composure to wait on the beat. And three, oh, ho, ro, ro, da, da, do, bra, oh, da, da, do, bam, ba, da, do, ba, he. So, 
the first uh, line in full of part three goes something like this. One more time. Okay, and to the second line. Which we've covered uh, in the, the line above. And then we've covered the last two bars, the last phrase as well. Again, making sure that we hear the short notes. Our triplet runs are bang in position. We have a nice rhythmical throw on D up to the high A. We have nice rhythmical half doublings. And we don't have any false fingering, making sure every single beat is in position. Make sure you swell up these high A's. And followed by a nice rhythmical trulua at the end. Okay, so the third part in full. Okay, certainly a lot to get practice in within the third part of Susan McLeod, but a real challenge, but one totally worthwhile to make. Okay, enjoy learning the third part of Susan McLeod. Enjoy.